there before? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. Hide behind this convenient tree. Surely they can't see me here. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious! It's hot. Bunny hop. Bunny hop. Bunny hop. Bunny hop. Hi, Dougie. I've got lost. I'm lost to help. I'm lost in the cemetery. Welcome back to the next episode of my 100% playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm really excited. We've just arrived in Chapter 4. In the last episode, we saw the Braithwaite's uh, steel jack. We don't know how or what he's done with them, but we went to Braithwaite Manor, challenged them, and found out that they gave him to someone called Angelo Bronte. And we're about to find out what happened and who this Angelo Bronte is. So it's all heating up and all really exciting. Um, it's been a little while since I've uploaded my last video for this playthrough. I have been working on an awesome guide, which is a hunting and satchel upgrade guide. It's more towards beginners or anyone that hasn't uh, really experimented with hunting in, in Red Dead 2. So it's a complete guide on what weapons you use, what ammo you use, etc, etc, where to go for the, for the best pelts. And uh, if you follow my process, you'll be able to get your satchel upgrade and your Legend of the East satchel really, really quickly. Really proud of it. It's, uh, it took me a long time to work on. I'll put a link and, and pin it to this video. Um, I'll also add it here somewhere somewhere up here but anyway I'm rambling on more than I should be if you've got questions about this playthrough or questions about getting 100% feel free to put them in the comments and I will reply to every single one and subscribe for more guide videos and more playthroughs that I'm doing because I'm not only doing this one I'm doing Star Wars and I'm also doing Death Stranding at the moment as well so anyway without me rambling any further let's get on with the show so Arthur decided to rest up somewhere near the harbour I'm not quite sure where he is but uh, and what time is it even it's oh it's getting a bit late probably because I was rambling on far too long but let's uh, find our horse how did he get here <laughs> all right there's a gap here okay right here's my horse my horse is looking a bit hungry let's sort that out we can't have a hungry horse. Okay, um, I'm I'm very aware I shouldn't be on the railway. This is probably quite a dangerous thing. Okay, let's go towards the BR. Well, there's three of them. Oop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god, I'm so gonna get in trouble here. What I want to find, I think, is the saloon one. Is this the saloon? Where's the saloon? Oh, the, here it is. I'm blind as a bat, as always. Right. Here we go. Stick them up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or non. Right. And then everyone stares at me. <laughs> Where are they going? Right. Funny you should say that. Well, you know I Mr. Is. Bartender. I, I say, that's the hey, can I get a drink here? America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love her here. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help you? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Did he just slide towards the bar then? Whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, Mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Dante? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No. Leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, 
I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Dutch miss, messed it up, obviously, for us. Who are you? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, it makes my skin crawl. Why are you a cocksucker? You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Ask around the br oh, hey, friend, about Bronte in the alley. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Immigrants! Can't trust them! Maybe he gr grows up to be Donald Trump's ancestor. Hey, you got a cigarette, Mr. It's Mr. these annoying huh? brats. I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where does he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad brat. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. <laughs> You come and clean. Hustle by a brat. <laughs> Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing don't trust these children. come from, mister. Look at them fun. Oh, and there you go. Little <laughs> bit <sighs> I have PS PTSD from doing this challenge for the gold <laughs> for the gold rush medal. Right, out the way. Just get out the way. Annoying little brat. Bastard got off. Ah damn street trash. You up with that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Coming through. Come on, keep up. <laughs> I can't <help. laughs> You little bastard. I was just playing. Give me my thanks back. Get off me, sir. I'm a good boy. I want out. I've never got him there before. Here. Bronte. At home. Where? The big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. I'm shocked. Okay. Welcome to San Denis, mister. <laughs> it's quite a town. <laughs> Get lost. I'm well chuffed. That is so hard to get that guy run it, that you're running after right at that moment. I've never done that before. How the hell do I get out of here now? Where am I going? Where is my horse? <sighs> Come on. It's this little horse, uh, little doggy. Hello, mangy blue tick coonhound. Come on, horse. There you are. See, if I hadn't have got him there, I would have had to have run all the way through the market, got slipped over by some apples or something, and got really annoyed. Oh, sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. <laughs> well now, we go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. 
The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Okay. Gold. It's amazing. It's so hard to get gold on that. I think I have only ever managed it once. Oh. So, oh right, so we're at the market. So let's go to the the fence. I hate being in the market. And it's miraculously morning again. Right. So, I seem to remember we did some treasure hunting last time and I don't think I've been to the fence since. So let's see. I don't need all those. Uh, what's that? A wedding ring. Okay, I can get rid of that. Ten jewellery bags. Nice. And, wait for it, seven gold bars. Arthur, you're so rich. Oh, what's that? Gold nugget. Where did I get that from? I can't remember. I've got loads of stuff. I obviously haven't been to the fence for ages. Okay. I think that's it. Uh -huh. Oh, I need some more of that. I could make it, but I can't be bothered. And now I'm rich, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That'll do. Saves me keep coming back and buying it. Right. Okay. If uh, if I if I sniff, I do apologise. I'm struggling with my allergies today, which is why I keep moving the mic away just in case I I snivel. It's just horrible having allergies. Okay. Let's have a look at the map first. Right, we've got that one. We've got that one, and we've got that one, and then obviously. We've got to go and see, I guess, is it Angelo Bronte's house? Yes, it's his house. So, of course, I'm not going to go and save Jack straight away. I'm going to go and do strange missions. Yes, hello. Wait. I remember now. I will in a minute, sorry. I have to do this. I feed again the blood of life. The circle has begun. That is the Sandini vampire. Uh, I know there's one other around the corner of these. Oh, I didn't mean to get actually get on my horse. Um, one around the corner from here, but after that, I've forgotten where all the other clues are. Let's talk to Brother Dawkins. I shall come. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will Of course I'll so donate. Sure. <laughs> My Arthur is a nice Arthur. I mean, he's an outlaw, but he's a nice outlaw. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. <laughs> he must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but... You know. Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Sandini is acting as a staging post for shipping <coughs> slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. 
Nope. The good thing about being on a mission in the market is you can do this. <laughs> if you do, if you, if you do that, not in a mission, um, then then you get a bounty. Let's see if try again. <laughs> I I'm on a timer here, but I don't care. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm lost! Where am I? <laughs> right, where am I? Alright, stop, stop missing about. Stop missing about. One more! Okay. <laughs> Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? About I've wasted time. I might as well speak to him. You heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, Should I they made me do it. I was all good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where Be scared of my gun. Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Spirit of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Gonna kill you. Okay, wait. I forgot I'm nice, Arthur. Hello? Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. <laughs> okay, return to the bunk. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Where's that door go? Nowhere. What's behind here? Never been behind here. Nothing behind there. Uh, okay. Here we go. Would be nice. Here. Take that. And come with me. I know someone that can help you. Follow me. I'm far too good. I need to do some bad things. This way. How about this? Not much farther. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, madam. Coming through. Coming through. Oh, I'm sorry. Coming through. I could do that all day. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work Sound the keeps stuttering if yourself done. I don't know why. I'm not sure how to fix that. Okay, obviously I got a 
a dismal bronze for that because I was just messing about far too much. Um, right, where were those other... Okay, uh, okay, right. So, I wasn't anywhere near you. The other writings that I can remember is here. So, but I could be walking around for a very long time trying to find the others. Easy now, partner. Who, who, who did I just bump into? Uh, right, you're you're just there, so you're fine. Uh, where's the door? Okay. Hello. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly I just shoot people. Mm. How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I'm a I whole lot. All over the world. <laughs> I have seen the sights and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Pies so, all mm. ass. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. <laughs> I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. Not quite so, you know, so, so many old uh, buildings, though. Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Charles, gotta love him. Oh, hello, Tram. Arthur, careful, you just nearly bashed into that. And that wasn't even my fault. Right. I haven't fed Arthur for a while. Let's throw some baked beans down his face. Who can I knock over this time? Nowhere near you. Oh, it's the professor, dude. What? Yeah. Oh, listen, bit of a weird question. <laughs> Do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of oh, shine? It. Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. <laughs> Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. <laughs> Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Gotta pay a visit to Alden. Yep. 
What are you? Oh! Old spot pig. Do I need pig? Pig hide. Can't remember. Let's just go for a wonder. So now, it's two in the morning and I still cannot find my other shoe. Don't tell me you use the Garibaldi. Hey, don't give it away. Garibaldi? Isn't that a biscuit? Oh, it's popped up now. I needed to get to the house before Carlo did. It was the only way. I cannot believe it. A first printing, no less. All'inferno c'è un cirone apposta per te, amico mio. What are they talking about? Okay, okay, enough. We should be keeping an eye out. Yes. They sound like maybe I don't know who they are, but maybe they're Bronte's men, perhaps, or something. Don't know, but. I'm not getting involved because it'll probably mean I get arrested. Try again. Please. Please. It is M Hey partner. Sister. My friend. Mr. Sister. Morton. Oh, love the sister. Sir. Brother Dorothy. I can't remember her name, but I love her. Wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey! Stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! <sighs> Arthur to the rescue, I guess. Oh, watch, you little weasel! Oh, I got stuck on a lamppost. Last Saturday, I... Hey, you! Get your hands off of that boy right now. He stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your head in that wall. All right, all right. Get him. This shit ain't worth it. Thanks, mister. You got lucky this time, kid. It's like the way he hops across the road. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Hi, now. I mean, I, hey, help. I, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Oh shit. Oh, it's market time. Yes. Although I don't have the time to do this because I'm I'm a wanted man. I'm a bad person. Right. Are they going to come around the corner? He's up there. Oh god, he's coming towards me. Let me just... Oh, balls. Let's just go down here for a minute. Hide behind this convenient tree. Surely they can't see me here. While my horse takes a shit. Now, I didn't really want to be this far away, but never mind. Because it's... I just now need to avoid... I'm going to go back to where I was. and go that way because I need to not run into any police people where is the church right the church is to the right you can see it right is there any police people here there's the church what are you oh. doing to me? <laughs> and oh yeah so I, I'm now at the back of the church so I can sneak into the back Nice. I'm glad I remembered the wait. Every day it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges <sighs> Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. I think I should go and save Jack in a minute. To be fair. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? <sighs> She's so lovely. 
the drawer kill count him. Um Is it time for Dutch? I didn't want to do that. Okay, so <sighs> why do I get a five pound bounty for that? Let's go and pay that off because we're quite close. I mean, if five pounds is not much. I mean, I won't get. Where's the hole in the fence there? I won't get <laughs> any bounty hunters after me, which is the most I'm concerned about. But I just don't like seeing the red on the map. Right. Good to see you again. There we go. Nothing I've got no mail. Stuff. Okay. Good day to you. Right, now we can go and see Dutch. Let's go and save Jack. Dutch and John plan to meet you in the park opposite Mr. Bronte's house. Why did that not set a waypoint? Never mind, I can just follow the D, it's fine. Uh, however, I do need to do this. And this. And do a quick weapon check. Why are they on regular? Are my weapons all right? Yeah, they're nice. They look reasonably clean. Right, head for the D. Run a few people over, probably. Come, please, take a I don't want a pamphlet. I don't want a pamphlet from a racist. Thank you. Is this the park? Is this the park? No, it's not the park. Here we go, here we go. Hello, how are you today? Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna to speak to this woman because this keeps popping up and annoying me. me. Sir, can I bother you for a minute of your time? Not really, I'm just stopping because you're annoying. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? <laughs> Do I have to? Twenty dollars ain't no chicken. Well, it's twenty, 20 dollars. Oh, I can help you out. That's very kind. Are they all pretty rich in Sandy? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Which I will probably forget to look at later. <laughs> you support our veterans oh, she's veterans. still going on. Right. Okay. It seems like a reasonable spot to hitch my horse. Right. Let's go, boys. Let's go get Jack. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <clears throat> <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here Subtle. and now. So Subtle as a brick. About this, like oh. gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? Not this. He's so confident, he just gets away with everything. 
Uh, somehow, I find it hard to believe that he would be let in just like that. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. <laughs> Arthur and John can take those guys out easy. Now. We are simple country. On a side note, All I want Angelo Bronte's lounge coat gone, thing that he's wearing because I think Arthur would look awesome in it. Over some dispute with some inbred ex slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very still woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. Uh, John Marston. <laughs> all mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? <laughs> no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run them out. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Right, so we need to go to the cemetery. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. <coughs> they must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. 
Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. <laughs> this just brings back memory of trying to do the gold from this, which is really hard. And then doing this to make Arthur go quick. All the <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Hi, doggy. Hey there, boy. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Where's John? Let me go and find John. John, what are you doing over there? Where do I go? Right. You're just wandering around. Can you not help? Well, Who are you? Like someone's been here. I'll go first. You stay close. Oh, maybe it wasn't triggering because I needed to find John. Typical rock star. Stay that quiet. I don't think it's we around here. Me. I think I'm in the wrong place. Let's go around the edge. Pretty sure eventually I'll run into it. I've got lost. I'm lost to help. I'm lost in the cemetery. All right, you go that way. You go and find it for me, John, because I'm clearly lost. Right. I'm, oh, so this. I'm back in the back in the centre now. And I think it's. Is it this way? <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh my god. Forgotten where to go. There we go. Finally, I thought I'd be wandering. And we'll bust the door in. I was going to be wandering around here for hours. You boys found my puppies watching. Uh. Three, four. You should have got him. Oh, God. careful. They're leading us out. Hang on. Little bugger. I need to loot him though. I don't know what's happened to my camera, but it's. I'll have to fix it in a minute. Where are ya? No, they're not, John. He was here just a minute ago. Where's he gone? I need to go back in the middle, because that's probably where they'll turn up. There he is, there he is. I can see him. See? How did he get there? I think that's all of them. Alright. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. I'm being really bad. In this mission. Where they first shot at us from. Uh, I think that was down here. Robin, grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Okay. All right. Oh, I found their bodies now. I can move them. Nice. Okay. Like I said, let's look around where they jump. All right, John. You're just being a bit bossy. We can't go back to Broad I know. Uh, right. Where? Where is it? Oh, here. I think there might be something in here. I definitely haven't got a gold on this one, I tell you. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Come on, John. It's locked. Climb it, climb it. We'll have to go back the way we came. 
Damn it. Come on. What? Let's go around the side. Let's go, John. Come on. Coming this way, get down. I am done. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. Nothing to do with us. Stick with me. Ha I thought I'd looted them all. Hair tonic. John, we can go. Let's go. Oh, here's the door. Come on, quick. mistimed that one. Get back to Dutch. Right. Oh, oh, I'm I'm leading. Right. To him pretty fast. Like I said, lost my hat. See where we're at once we got Jack. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad Little to see boots. You. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. He looks so cute in this little outfit. You all right? For everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. You push me out the way, Dutch. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Oh. John being a daddy. Time to go, boy. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. I love spaghetti. It like worms, but it's delicious. My favorite, favorite right? dish. Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. Nope. And I don't know why I'm getting my gun out. Slipper. Slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're alright. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? <laughs> At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. 
Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's mind. Hasn't got any windows. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <laughs> of course you did. In front of you. Yep. Oh, sorry, John. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Oh, got money for it as well. Well, <laughs> I still managed to get silver. What do you get silver for? Oh, yeah, because I encountered everything. Yeah. Okay. Love this bit. I just wish this bit they would make Arthur sing or give you the ability to make Arthur sing it's just adorable they're just like one big happy family yeah I mean look at Dutch even Dutch is joining in no se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo. Makes me want to join in, but I'm not going to torture anyone. I'm the world's worst singer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, and it doesn't matter how, how many playthroughs you do or interact with the camp on it. There's, you're always seeing things that are, is different in this game. There's just so many lines of script, so many different scenarios that you could walk into. It's incredible. Sure. So I got caught doing something I was just a kid, 17. Shall I get Arthur drunk? I'm sure he's got loads of alcohol on him. Look at all that rubbish that I've got. I just don't oh, use. <laughs> anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided he's going to be hanged for it. 
For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it fair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. I've not heard this story before. More than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> so he was going to get hanged. Arthur's not even drunk, look. How many bottles of gin is he drunk? Oh, uh, now he's getting a bit drunk. Here we go. <laughs> I have to go through my entire content. Oh, I know what. I've got... Where's the... Oh, maybe I haven't got any. I thought I had some moonshine. I like John Carthur, he's, he's funnier. You're in a good mood. Just oh. happy to have the boy back safe. Ain't nobody take him again, I swear. So I was thinking What are you talking about? Maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stay together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Standing there while they're having a private Look chat. Around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. You're right about that. Is that it? I'm pretty sure they say something else after that. He's a bit tired. Yeah, He's going to bed. You should go to sleep soon. I mean, he plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. You're enjoying it. You're not joining in? Okay, thank you. Not really in the mood. No, Bonnie's not in the mood. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. What the hell it is? Not drink anymore. Not drunk. I need to find some more alcohol. Bia, he's mixing his drinks now. Oh, what's happening? Oh yes, I can see. Very lady. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I have the feeling you're about to tell me. You have ruined my life. She's not happy. I'm sure you do. You see everything differently. Remember, it's your fault that boy went missing. What? It wasn't. I mean, I've said that I'm sorry. Count yourself real lucky. How is it Karen's fault? There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. She is a little bit drunk. Push me out of the way, Dutch. Next time, listen. Oh, he's not going to go on one of his lectures again. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan, my friends. We have a plan. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find <clears throat> our own paradise. Our own heaven. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its peasants' vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Free. You sounding crazy, yes, Dutch. We are. Oh, 
And uh, Pearson's looking a bit ropey. Oh, what's going on? Oh dear, Karen. Sometimes we'd have both died. Six points, Kevin. You can't blame yeah. me for wanting That's true. So he's but not mad at Kieran. I thought he was mad at Kieran. The problem with you, Pearson, is that you're just a goddamn drunk. <laughs> is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. Oh. All talk, huh? And what are you looking at? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for after spend. What time is it? 3 a.m. sleep. Oh, I can still do a bit of morning sleep. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there. We've saved Jack, the camper happy, the party was amazing. We've met a few new strangers. I think next time I will concentrate a bit more on some of the challenges because I want to finish as many of them as I can before the end of this chapter. Because moving into five and six, I want to not have to worry about any of the challenges. So there are a couple that I won't be able to do until later on. But if I can get them up as much as I can, then that's all good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave me a comment. If you've got any questions, like I said, about uh, anything to do with 100%, uh, more, more than happy to respond and answer as best I can. Check out that guide that I've just done about the hunting. Um, it'll be worth your while. It's, it's quite a long video, but it's definitely worth a watch. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.